It's Tipsy Tuesday at 383 Design Studio. Join our digital design guru as she discusses creating custom keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Illustrator. So today's tutorial is a quick but important one. We're talking about creating custom shortcuts. So once you begin to learn and master Illustrator, the next thing most people want to do is get faster and become more efficient. And one of the best ways to do that is through keyboard shortcuts. If you scroll through the menu options across the top in Illustrator, you'll notice there are plenty of keyboard shortcuts already programmed into Illustrator. And you'll see them to the right of the menu options. And also if you go into the window menu, down in this section with all of your panels, you'll see um, a lot of these panels also have keyboard shortcuts, but there are a fair amount of them that do not. One of the ones that I've been using most recently is the pattern creation tool. And this one, if you go under object and pattern and make, you'll notice that there's no default keyboard shortcut. Also under the window menu, Pattern Options is the panel that appears when you use the Pattern Creation tool. And again, there is no shortcut for this. So if this is something that you use pretty often, it really is worth your time to create a custom shortcut so that you can get to it very quickly without having to scroll through menus. So we're gonna create a cre uh, custom shortcut for the panel option. I'm gonna do it for Pattern Options. So. To start, I'm gonna to go to Edit and Keyboard Shortcuts. You could also do Shift, Command, Option K, or Shift, Control, Alt, K if you're on a PC. This will open your Keyboard Shortcuts panel. And I'm going to go up to the Tools. I'm gonna to click on the drop down next to Tools and go to Menu Commands from here. I'm going to open window and I'm going to scroll down and I'm looking for pattern options and there it is. So from here, you'll click on the little box where you want to add the new shortcut and what you're going to do is literally click the keys on your keyboard that are going to be your new shortcut. So I'm going to click shift command and I don't know uh, oh now if it's something that is already in work meaning if it's something that Illustrator already has assigned to another option it's gonna give you a big alert at the bottom of your screen and it's gonna tell you the shortcut is already in use and it is used to create outlines so if you choose to keep this as your new command for pattern options, then that means that it's no longer gonna work for create outlines. I do not suggest you do this. So let's hit undo and let's see if we can find a new one. Now I've scrolled through and clicked on a lot of different things. So I know that shift command five is not in use and that's gonna work. So as soon as I click on shift command five, it automatically fills in what's necessary and it will, you know, the alert's not showing at the bottom. So that's great. That's gonna be our new command for pattern options. Also, if you look at the top where it says set, it's gonna to default to custom as soon as you start adding new shortcuts. And this is a good thing. I always like to uh, save this as a new custom uh, shortcut. Uh, keyboard shortcuts because if you ever need to go back to the Illustrator defaults, you know that it is, you know, exactly as it originally came. If you've taken any old shortcuts, if you reassign them to other things, you know you still have the original defaults to always go back to. So we're going to click on this little option next to set and custom, and we're going to name this 383 design. Okay, and I'm gonna hit okay. So now I've opened this Paisley print and I've decided that I'm going to work on creating a repeat. And if I hold Command Shift 5, 
my pattern options will come up and I can click on the drop down from there to make my pattern. Simple tip, but one that will save you quite a bit of time in the long run. So that's your lesson for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.